my blessing CEO has a few questions for Radio God. In Radio God, how What's, are you? What's up now? How you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm Good to have fine. you here. First of all, did Bob ever ask you to support him? Did Bob ever ask me to support him? No, he didn't. Yes. Yeah. So like I said earlier, after he's seen one of the videos I did for him, there was this video I did for Bob that went viral. After he came across that video, Bob reached out to me and said, continue with the job. He never said stop. Okay. I call myself a one-man mupu. Why? Because I can fight alone. I don't need support to fight for somebody. If I love you, I love you. I stand by you. I already knew that Bob was a controversial figure. You knew what Bob stood for. You knew the dragging that came with it. So why did you double into it? Because I heard you saying they called you G-A-Y. Did you not know that, okay, Bob was very controversial. And if you choose to even want to support Bob, that he was going to come with a lot of backlash. Didn't you know that? I knew he was going to come with all that. But just like I said, people should use their common sense, you know. You know that this guy has been doing a lot for you. He's been supporting you irrespective of the fact that you're a controversial figure, like you said. So how do you know? now support his brand i'm not talking about me i'm okay i don't need his money as a matter of fact when you flip naira to pounds now not in that change but what i needed bob to do was support my brand in a way like i even posted a, a screenshot about two two hours ago come and do giveaway for for your struggling fans we rise by lifting others it's not really about your rich friends, you go go, you go do both crew, 15 million. All those people you are showing off today, they rich too. Do you understand? What about people that are supporting you? Get these people when they say that they bash me online now. Now jobless people will not get work. What are you doing for these jobless people now when they, when they bash me on social media? Okay, Trust I, me. I actually want to say yeah. I want to say something right yeah, guys. Most of the people, 95% of the people that are bashing me now on social media never seen food job. Yeah, and radio guy. And the people I was actually fighting for. I was saying, Bob, come and do something for these people. Bob said, good evening. Okay, do you know that Bob was very, very nice to you? In because do you know the amount of people that actually love and support Bob? And Bob has never noticed them. Do you know people that actually support me and I don't reply? They will tag me. You know when you put somebody on your story, the person comes directly to your DM. They say, I will not answer. So to me, I will feel acknowledging you was part of appreciation. What if Bob had pretended like he didn't see all the stuff? Because there are so many people that, that are fans in um, Bob Risky. Forget the noise. He has lovers and he also has haters. So I just feel personally is an entitlement mentality. No, it's not entitlement. And as a blogger, it's not no, it is entitlement. When I stood up for Bob, when I stood up for that, Bob, when I, when, I, when I speak, people listen. I'm not just anybody. When I speak, people listen. When I supported Bob, it went viral. Do you understand? What you mean is, hey, um, 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 I'm not just anybody. I've been grinding for a while. When I supported Bob, it went viral. It was all over the place. He had no choice than to say, oh, go ahead. Keep doing what you're doing. Now, somebody like me now that love you from afar, that love your job, and you've done this now. I don't know if you tell you anything. Now, even if I did pie, I don't know if you talk. Because what about rest? Reputable people that you've gotten so scared now to talk to you just because you for just born now. If I were you, I for finish Bob for DM, give and buzz, buzz, call them, cuss them, leave them for there. But don't you think any business or any brand that wants to work with you, don't you think you're going they're going to be scared? So, how are you going to do, deal with the trust issues now? Those that genuinely love you and trust you, hmm. and I want to share a basic hmm. thing with you. What if um, Bob Risky was taking his time? Wanted to just trend for that bad day and, you know, post you later. Basically, uh, Bob Risky's case, whatever he said to me about him being in an apartment shouldn't be a secret. Do you understand? Nigeria, <laughs> Ni the problem we have in Nigeria is we too they keep what's not supposed to be secret, secrets. Someone was supposed to go to prison the person go to apartments how is that supposed to be a secret 
I not come to tell you now, see person with Bob Risky, they not go and see all that. I revealed an information that I felt Nigerians needed to know at the right time. Very dark black man, in as much as I don't stand, I don't always stand with very dark man. But on that one, I wanted to make everybody know that very dark man was actually saying the truth. Radio guy, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a yeah. question. Yeah. Who, um, Bob Risky, mm -hmm. showing you love before this saga, are you telling me you would have got you the confidence to actually come out and be, uh, and be doing what you're doing right now? I think Bini has been showing you love. Let's, sure, uh, let's... sure. I'll, I'll still do it. I'll still do it. Even with the love, I'll go do it. Because that information was a vital information that people needed to know about. Mm -hmm. I don't want to ask you two questions, no bad so. And I'm speaking for the public. I'm not just speaking for myself. What you did to Bob, do you consider it? Do you consider it betrayal? Leaking that chat, the conversation and everything, I'm posting it at his vulnerable moments. He just got out of prison, quote unquote, right? And you you supported him when he was in there, or even before he even entered, you like you made videos that went viral, you know, on him and he DM'd you saying, thank you, or keep, keep, keep going, like keep up the good work kind of thing. So you doing that, like what you just did, do you think is a betrayal? It's not a betrayal. I felt that Nigerians needed to know the truth because when the, uh, the news broke, a lot of people were saying it's true, it's not true. So I needed to let people know the truth. I think, you know, we've, we've gotten to the point in Nigeria where we, we sometimes we need to put friendship aside and let the masses know the truth. Hmm. Do you understand? We, de we, de we deserve it as a country. Mm. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah, so that's that's just what it is. I felt that people needed to know the truth because you can't you can't you can't you can't, you can't put so somebody else in prison, then you reach another person, so they can't go to far apartment. It doesn't make any sense. If in that America that you live, do they treat people like that? No matter yeah. who you are, if you do the crime, you're going you, to do the time. Do the time, right? Did is now in prison. Upon saying I did the MP. Hmm. Do you understand? So why would they put other people like Blessing CEO in prison? He reached my brisk guitar, he got apartment. It doesn't really add up in my brain. Right. You know, I don't I don't live in Nigeria anymore, so I don't really have that <coughs> mentality. Do you understand? When you say when yeah. they try, they do they they you, 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 you're trying to do favorites. Uh, you, you're trying to uh uh, uh 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 yeah, 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 that one. Yeah, the right to to someone who no even send you. Hmm. But don't you she think understand. it's the same way for you? He didn't send you and you made those videos for him and which went viral. Don't you think it looks like you were cloud chasing? It's not cloud chasing. So what do you consider I, that I then? Because you said him. that he didn't give you accolades, he didn't come and do giveaway on your page or say thank you. You know, but he said he, he DM'd you privately though. So don't you think that's cloud chasing because he didn't do it publicly on your platform? Publicly? What, what do you mean by publicly? You, you, what publicly? You, you said that yeah. he should have come and done giveaway for your people or mm. or, or make, make it like a nice gesture to appreciate you for, for sticking with him and, and, you know, making all those videos that went viral, you know, and, and take having his back. Yeah, like I said, so the question I'm asking you. He came in my DM. He came okay. in my DM and said, oh, I see your job. I see what you're doing. You're yeah, doing a great job. Thank you. Blah, 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 blah. But to me, that wasn't enough. What? You know? Hey, it's just it like Mr. CEO it, said earlier on it, that she reposted some what, of your content. You, Imagine her you coming back to you question. and saying, I reposted no, you your can, content. Oh, yeah, I give me money. To do now. Read. You asked me a question. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, why don't you allow me to talk? Or should I just ignore you? <laughs> no, no, bro. Just ask me a question. Let me ignore you. Ask me. Let me not ignore you. I got you. I I'm all ears. I got you. Go ahead. Say everything you want to say. No, no, no. I'm I just said that now. part, the blessing CEO part. Like when she said she she supports your work, she likes some of what your stuff she repost. So imagine her coming to you and saying, "Yo, I used to post you." And for example, maybe she has like so much millions of followers more than you, and she's like, "I used to repost you." Oh yeah, come and do give away the from main my people. Reason she's not obliged. Did. You know what? Just go on. Just go on. No, ask but yourself whenever I want to finish question. something, you come ask in. yourself and answer no. the question. No, whenever you see you're being this. I feel defensive. we are colliding. We are colliding. We're not really having a conversation. <laughs> we're colliding. Because you're not. Daddy, please, maybe you should, First you should of all, tell me. First of all, you started saying that I used to follow you. I would like your picture. That didn't make any sense. That wasn't the subject. But I just let it slide. <laughs> Jonas, I've never followed you. I've never liked your picture. So I don't know who you are.
I don't so know you. you off like that. Didn't make any, it, it, it looked. It looked as if you came to me with beef. No, 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 wait, 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 you came that here is you are the person. most professional here. No, wait, wait, you came here as a civil person, you came here to ask me questions, and then you came, you, you don't even follow me, I'm not supposed to entertain you to start with. Why are they full of blessings to you, Tom? Because I know saying I'm my follower and I'm my friend for a long time. Do you understand? You, you came here saying I, I used to like your picture. I'll do this. I'll do blah, blah, blah. I never liked your picture. So don't try to promote yourself. I never liked your picture. I never followed you. I don't know who you are. All right. Do you understand? When, then, when you're done, you're you're when, when, let, let me finish. finish. Let me 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 finish. Then you want to have to say that blah 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 what happened then you're asking me a question you say you live in america but you're not acting like you live in america you're asking what me a question you're not allowed them to what talk you when you ask someone a question you allow them to learn you go ask you go allow them to talk now they answer the question you go there you are trying to show everybody that you know how to speak english that you're too fast if you ask me a question you calm down that's how you ask a question ask me a question you calm down then allow me to reply you that's how it's supposed to be you don't answer. You don't ask me a question, and at the same time answer the same, the same question that you asked me. Does it make any sense? No. Uh. Okay, Radio Guy, she's calm now. So sorry about that. I think it was the next. Okay, one Radio Guy, just answer this question. Make we go mm -hmm. our houses. No vex, eh? Yeah. yeah. You told you, you know. I'm not ready to go out this time. But I know they drag there. more brisky. I know they I, drag you. I don't. Why is he going to drag me? I'm asking a question. We're all here. We came up here to ask questions. He said I'm being defensive. I asked a question. He didn't even let me land with the question. Anyways, Daddy Freeze, I said what I got to say. I don't have any other thing to say. Thank you for bringing me up. It was nice talking to Blessing CEO and asking the questions that was never heard. I think he a clout chaser. And that's on period. Bye, Daddy Freeze. I you love you. You came here to chase clout, not me.